My Academia. So, my, as I was so saying, the third one, this fucking chapter came so out of nowhere, I thought I, like, missed something. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, who the fuck is this guy? Ending? That is... That is so fucking hilarious. Like, I didn't miss anything, right? Is this literally just a rando that, like, uh, Endeavor, like, put away in jail seven years ago? Um, apparently so. That's weird. Okay, so... I'm okay with um, it. Okay. (laughs) I mean, I I can see places it can go, right? Because seven years ago, Endeavor would have been a totally different person, right? So, like, maybe this is going to be a cool little moment where, like, he sees the differences in Endeavor. And, like, you know, back in the day, Endeavor wouldn't have had anything, anyone to protect or care about. Now he has people to protect and care about. So this ending guy maybe is going to use that to his advantage. Like all these kids here that he has to protect, he might go up and try to kill. I mean, he's already holding one of his kids hostage, obviously. So, yeah. It's it's, uh, a very interesting, like, take, right? Because, like, it's such a huge transition from, like, the past few chapters, right? Oh, yeah. Because there's not much danger for the past few chapters and all of a sudden there's just like stalker guy just like oh my god endeavor i want to be you so badly oh my god and then like you know who this you know who this fucking guy is this guy's fucking syndrome from incredibles (laughs) oh my god yo (laughs) when everyone's super no one will be bro people don't understand how good of a villain syndrome was and the same philosophy he was so that was Pixar's best villain, High Key. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> like, well, that's a that's a video altogether. So anyway, um, so the one thing I will say about that is uh, one thing I do like about this Ender guy is that like, like he's his goal is actually kind of lit, right? So he's just like, if you because he, he he almost reminds me of. Stain, but the opposite, right? He he's giving the vibe of someone who, who's like, why don't heroes kill? Type of guy, right? So he's like, cause you know, like for all you DC and Marvel guys out there, you know, like a lot of people compare like Batman to like to Punisher. You know, Batman has a moral code, like he never kills. You know, every life is precious. Yada yada yada. Punisher's like, fuck all that. Evil people have to die. You know, shit like that, right? And heroes in sense have that Batman moral code, but this guy is like, no Endeavor, if you want to stop me, if you you're the blame for this. You're the blame you're the reason why I'm still alive here and have your kid hostage. If you really want to say if you really want to do a good deed for the world, if you really want to be a hero, then you have to kill me right now. And I was like, holy shit, wow. Oh hero I love that. Yeah. That- and he talks about in the beginning of this chapter, he talks about how like the second he got out of prison, the first thing he did was, like, go right back. Like, first of all, what a shitty prison system. Like, they let this guy out. I assume, like, I'm going to guess he was, like, psychopathically, like, drawing, like, Endeavor's name on the wall of his fucking prison cell. You know, like, they, they let this guy out. No, like, there's no, like, he literally just walked from, like, all right, congratulations, you're, you, you're out of prison today. And then he just started Good walking behavior. towards Endeavor. <laughs> Good behavior. We let you. <laughs> this man got out for good behavior, and now he went back doing what he loves most. Oh. Going and killing Endeavor. Did it actually say good behavior? Is that a joke you're making? No, that's a joke I'm Okay. <laughs> that's funny. Um, what What <laughs> like is this his, fucking quirk? Something to do with bandages? Like a mummy quirk, probably? So, yeah, that's what I thought it looked like, too. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. Because I'm trying to look. Yeah, I guess so. Um,. There was, there was one shot that I was like maybe overthinking it, probably. But like you know, they're on a road. You yeah, know, I, I think I'm overthinking it. I like at first, you know how like they they paint like fucking like lines on a road. I looked like he was like peeling those up for a second, but no, I think you're right. I think it is just mummy bandages. Just... Uh, uh, I have to look. I'm ninety percent sure you're right. I think I was just overthinking it. Oh no 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 no! I, no, I see what you're talking about. I see what you're talking about. And actually, even in the on the official manga app, it looks like that. Hmm. Like it looks like he's peeling uh, stuff off the road. Yeah, because like, look, it, look, it, the, the final one's like an arrow. You see, and like that's like yeah. some shit that would be painted on a road. Like it's weird. Like, e- like even the goal looks like he's being peeled off the concrete. Hmm. Oh, did comprehension just sneak right in them DMs? Bro, bro, most likely we'll, we'll never know. You know, here Koshi does some creative shit. Like he can like move lines off the fucking floor or some shit like that. Oh, I love it. What was the guy? Oh, what, there was a fucking quirk 
in the uh, Chizuki arc, and I, it had to do something with like air. Like he used like arrows. Like you remember that? Like it was like one of Chizuki's like right hand man. I have to remember. I have to go back and look. Cause I don't remember. I'm going to the wiki. Will you talk about some shit? <laughs> well, so back to the philosophy we were talking about, right? So that's crazy to me. So it's it's insane that Hirokoshi is bringing this out right now because what does really what really will, will this do for Endeavor? Like I don't. What what does throw me off a bit is just like this philosophy is kind of cool and I like it, but what will it have to do for Endeavor's character? Oh, it came it, right the fuck out of nowhere, which makes me think that something in this fight is gonna happen. Like he's gonna not be able to protect someone maybe this kid maybe like his kid like his kid here will legit get harmed or killed i mean it depends on how far um Horko she yeah because i'm like because if, if this guy is like you're the re- you're the reason why i because he, he says no matter what i did you always had so much i never could attain i looked up to you but never had never but i never had anything to protect so he's like please endeavor do the job right time you gotta kill me so he's i think he's like his Going back to the to the DC universe type of shit, Joker. The, the main reason why Joker likes fucking with Batman so much is because he wants Batman to break his moral code. He wants to break Batman so badly, break break Bruce Wayne so badly mm-hmm. that he actually has to kill somebody. Like that's his goal. Like I, don't, I know you don't really like American comics that much, but I've seen enough Joker I, and and watched the Joker movie and all that stuff to get an idea. Yeah. Yeah. So he, his main goal, for, right? You know, like he has his own evil ambitions. You know, every installment, whatever. But one of his main, really, goals in the comics, comics, is that he wants Batman to literally break his moral code and kill someone. That's what he wants to do. Like in the Batman Hush comic, he's literally like, "I want you to break your moral code, but only when it's something I've done." <laughs> like he wants it has to, to be, be me, me to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like, he's like, you have to... I have to be the one to make you want to break your moral code. Like, I want to break you so bad to the point where you, you feel like you have to kill someone. And this is what the kind of vibes I get here. But to be honest with you, it really feels like Endeavor never really had that moral code to begin with. Like, do you feel me on that? Yeah. You know, I think he only recently got that moral code. Um, yeah. Like, if you yeah. remember All Might... You know, because all my prior summer wouldn't want to kill, but what Endeavor, Endeavor really the type of hero that's just like, oh, you need to die for the greater well, good. Well, I, I almost wonder if he's not talking about Endeavor more as the hero system as a whole, right? Because, like, I think Endeavor, if it was up to him personally, he wouldn't have a problem killing, but I have a funny feeling in order to be an official hero, there's probably rules against genuinely just, like, I feel like if you were just killing the people you were going up against, you'd be classified as a vigilante. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah, in order, yeah. I think even if Past Endeavor didn't like it, I think in order to be classified as a hero, he probably had to hold back from killing. Yeah. So I hope we get like a flashback of this or like some sort of like saying of this because on, I'm gonna be honest, I like it, but it really doesn't make sense or go along with the character right now if this is the case. Well, like because I, said, I I took this as um, sorry, I'm fucking clogged up from up I'm getting over a cold that's been here no, for like two weeks. <laughs> um like I said, I don't think I think it's less a comment on Endeavor specifically and more like that's what know, I meant. More like he's working as a hero and as long as you work as a hero you have to adhere yourself to these rules. Whereas he's just saying, fuck the rules. You know? I guess that's the vibe I'm getting here. Yeah. I, I like it. I just want like I, I just feel like it's out of place here if that oh, makes yeah, sense. Oh yeah, this whole fucking chapter is out of place. Like it's it's strange. I it, like I have no problem with it, but and it it just really threw me the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like if if that is the case and I like how you're saying it like the, like him talking about the hero society as a whole, I hope we get like some sort of flashback or sort of reasoning why he thinks like that cuz cuz for 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 it to be like maybe it was just like unlucky it's just because Endeavor was the one who put him in jail. And now he's just like saying it to Endeavor because, like, mm-hmm. to me, it, it feels like this would be more impactful if it was towards someone like All Might. I agree. Yeah, you know, because All Might's clearly someone who, you know, has that Batman moral code where we can always lock people up. I'll beat the shit out of you, but I won't take your life, type shit, right? Hmm. So, so, um, to me, it feels like if he's saying like, "Do your job right this time, kill me," right? I almost would assume that 
we have to have some sort of like explanation as to why he has this philosophy. Because I mean, like, because you you could argue that putting him away made him worse because he he spent seven years obsessed with Endeavor, right? And so he's like, you could also be like, Endeavor, you did this to me, you made me obsessed with you, so and do your job right and kill me. Because if you don't kill me, I'm gonna keep after you, right? Well, he says in the beginning so. of the chapter. Seven years ago, I hesitated, and you captured me alive. The only equal right that all people enjoy is how they choose to close the curtain on their lives. So I think what he's saying is, like, he feels powerless. You know, he, he's been in prison for a long time. He feels powerless. You know, even in his own life, he feels powerless. But the one thing he gets to choose is how he dies. So this reminds me of people that do, like, suicide by cop. Have you ever heard of that? No, I've never heard that before. Suicide by cop is when someone wants to kill themselves and they choose to go out by forcing a cop to shoot them. So basically, like, you know, going into the middle of the street, like, shooting a gun into the air, basically being so dangerous that a cop has to shoot them. Suicide by cop. They're tr- they're b- trying to bait a cop into killing them. Oh, wow. I haven't heard of that. Oh, yeah. I watch watch cops. Uh, they'll, they'll be like, oh, he's trying suicide by cop. You know, like, and, you know, at least the cops on the shows will always attempt to, you know, not do that if, if they don't have to. But, of course, you know, nowadays it's quite easy to do suicide by cop. Um, but <laughs> point being, I, I think he gives me the vibe of someone who wants to die. Um, and I think he's basically at this point, it's kind of like the last fuck you, like, all right, Endeavor, you are the reason I went to prison. You put me in prison and now I just, I want to die and I want it to be you is the vibe I'm getting. It's like a final, I think he feels out of control in his life. I, he seems like he feels like he can't control anything and maybe this gives him one final sense of like, you know, well, at least I got to control that aspect. You know, I got to choose how I went out and I want to go out by the number one hero. Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. Cause just like you, it it does seem out of place and I really don't understand where Horikoshi is going with it. But yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm just for the all I have for the chapter, to be honest, because everything else is just like, okay, you know, they talk about the author, older brother, you know, talked about how the mom overcame the hating for him and all that stuff like that. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, really. There's nothing else to really talk about this chapter. Uh, I want to talk about Bakugo's continued obsession with this fucking tofu. Uh, okay. Give me that Mapu tofu recipe. That's funny to me. Like, <laughs> I've never seen him this <laughs> passionate about anything. Like, I mean, when, he keeps fair, mentioning when, it. Remember, like he was the one that was like, "You're wasted, perfectly good tofu," and then now he's I mean, like, "I need the." Re-. Like, can you like, think about it? It's Bakugo. He doesn't care about anything. You're hanging with Bakugo. You try to have a genuine conversation with him. What's he gonna say? Fuck off. What are you trying to do? Have a conversation with me? Fuck you. You know I don't care about anything. But now all of a sudden, you you bring over Bakugo for a fucking nice, delicious meal, and he's like, "Give me that fucking recipe. I'll fucking kill you. I need that recipe." <laughs> it's just funny to me. I mean, when your whole food that you were going to eat gets ruined by awkward fucking family drama, <laughs> you don't like, want that I, recipe. I can't. I want to eat that shit in peace. I don't want to eat that shit around your fucking tossed ass family. <laughs> so Bakugo, yeah, Bakugo has 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 the right money here. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, you know what? Fuck you. Give me your recipe. I'll make it myself at my own house. But. That's kind of ironic, given his household's also very toxic. No, no, that's what I, was I don't think his household's toxic at all, actually. Because, like, even, like, he has a mother who's very, like, like, he beats him the fuck up. But it's, like, weirdly more wholesome because he's also got, like, a Ned Flanders dad. And they, like, actually get along really well. You know? It just, I don't know. Yeah. His, his household is, like, strangely wholesome. More than you'd expect. You know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's that's the way I look at it anyway. Like, like yeah, there's physical violence there, but it's like kind of physical violence in the way that like brothers would fight. You know, like the mother, like it, and and again, like I think that if it wasn't for the dad, like I think the dad in the Bakugo family, or really, I don't know. Like he he ties shit together. You know, like like they're going nuts, and the dad's back there just like Ned Flandersing, just like oh howdly doodly there, family. <laughs> that's actually so funny. Remember, too, we saw that little, like, side comic, like, a couple, I don't know, like, 10, 20, 30, 40 chapters ago. I don't remember how long ago it was. 
was like how they met or whatever. And oh, like, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, obvious yeah. that she's the dom in that relationship. Like, it's so obvious that she found this guy and she was like, this is a perfect guy for me to just be constant dom. <laughs> and I imagine that Bakugo's dad's like a big old sub and it's just perfect. <laughs> mm. I love it when the woman takes charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Switch. No, oh, yeah, here. but like, I'm, what I'm saying is, I think Bakugo's mom is like. No, no, neither of them are switch. Bakugo's mom is one hundred percent dom. Bakugo's dad is one hundred percent sub. Oh yeah. There's never a switch. Like I can't imagine in a million years Bakugo's dad being on top. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Uh, amazing. I mean, that it. <laughs> that it. What? Got any more to talk about? Bro, what are you fucking doing? Trying to skip past all this shit right now. Bro, I have. I, I'm gonna be honest. There is nothing. What are you There's talking nothing. about? Endeavor's weird uh, fucking chauffeur. Ah, uh, he was just mad. <laughs> but look at his face. He's just mad to me. He's not yeah, interested character. Yeah, but Thurman, you know what we do on this fucking channel? We make jokes about dumb shit. We can talk for a half hour about one little like corner panel. So get your shit in gear and make fun of this fucking chauffeur before I fucking do some gay shit to you he already did gay shit to me when i was out there no no if there was anyone doing gay shit to anyone it was you doing it to me <laughs> yo look at him he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to fucking back out of the fact that this man did some gay shit <laughs> to me and now he's just like uh no that's just not true you actually gay shit to me i was your victim Actually, uh, but what do you think about the chauffeur though would you do gay shit to him the chauffeur, the chauffeur is fucking. I don't know. I just want you to design it. <laughs> He's fucking. Bro. All right. All right. Wait, Listen, you... man, I'm trying I'm to from... make some content, okay? Where did it come from? I don't understand. It's just like, why does Endeavor have this type of fucking driver? Why can't he drive himself? <laughs> See, yeah, this is the content I wanted there, but this right here. Like, why? <laughs> There's no need. You're a close <laughs> fucking reason. That makes no sense to me. I do like the conversation. I like the, you know, he's like, oh, since when are you palling around with these fucking high school dropouts, even though they're not dropouts, but, you know, he's like, what, where are you, since when are you doing that? And he's like, since I became the number one hero. And he's like, oh, status changed you. So it's funny. It gives me the vibe that, like, this chauffeur is, like, left over from Endeavor's, like, administration, or I don't know what we'd call it, like, Endeavor's offices. I think that he worked with Endeavor back when Endeavor was a douchebag, and he kind of misses douchebag Endeavor. That's the vibe I get. Oh, one of those butlers just like, I miss the old you when you're an asshole. Yeah, no, I think he's three. genuinely like, ugh, how can you master master um, Endeavor, you lowering yourself to the fucking commoners, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like this despicable me, how, like, the fuck his... Like, yes! The science, like... Yes. 100% that is what it is, is. Like, like he's literally just like ugh. he's like he's pissed he's just like fucking become the number one here and all of a sudden what helping children fucking what the world comes he's to gotten Jesus soft in this never <laughs> he's gotten soft oh, that's one so of those funny. guys one of those guys is just like I used to be such a such a badass back then but look at you Training these slacking kids, you've gotten soft. You've endeavor. gotten soft, Endeavor. I suppose you want me to throw away the sex slaves, right? Oh yeah, look at him. It's like being nice to your wife and kids. What happened to you, Endeavor? You're not like you used to be. I assume you want me to dispose of Ice Waifu thirty through forty now. Wait, plot twist. This here, Koshi put this guy here to make fun of Twitter. Think about that. <laughs> They don't want they don't, they don't want Endeavor to change, so they he made this guy to make fun of the fact that this guy that he doesn't want Endeavor to change his character. Fucking Next chapter, shit. this fucking chauffeur is like bleeding out on the side of the road, and he pulls out his phone. And he's like, I, "I got a tweet about this." Oh God! I hear someone knocking on my door right now. I think I broke the fucking code. I think I'm getting too close to the promised land. <laughs> Just it's like, oh hi, are... I'm. Uh... <laughs> I'm this guy from Twitter, and uh, you gotta die. I couldn't think oh. of a fucking random username. I I, I blew it. All right, yeah. it's 38 a.m. I think I'm done. Predictions? No predictions. Bullshit. I had to get my. 
I'm just going to see what's happening. I'm just going to see what the fuck is going on. I need some sort of flashback, some sort of explanation as to why Hirokoshi decided to put this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, Hirokoshi Aiki, I think he's losing it. <laughs> He needs to pull a black clover and just some sort of time skip because right now we don't know what the fuck is going on. Two months is fine. Something. Oh man. <laughs> you expected I, you expected a Dobby flashback, but you got me ending instead. I'm gonna be honest with you, like this at this point, he needs one. <laughs> I'm <skip>? Like Yes. <laughs> uh, you mean at a hiatus? Least, at least at least like three weeks or something. Because, You're talking about like, a hiatus no. or a time skip? Oh, either or, because <laughs> I can't. Okay, maybe it's just us at Control Chaos. I'm pretty sure the people in the comments be like, "Oh, you guys are fucking dumb." And there's Demi has perfect Thurman. I'll have you know, it's never ever made a mistake, and it's been perfect what? ever since its inception. Well, why, why someone be like, "Oh, you guys are fucking stupid"? Ender's been in the series since like chapter like 15. <laughs> Actually, Ender was foreshadowed. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 Endeavor when Endeavor showed up and talked to Todoroki in the tournament arc, uh, he mentioned ending. And... <laughs> oh, oh! If you look in the lower left hand corner of the panel, uh, you can see some mummy wrapping on uh, Endeavor's left leg. If you look in the data book, uh, yeah, in the data book, <laughs> he was really talking. To... Ending. <laughs> it shows that Ender was like a, a villain that Endeavor beat like seven years ago. Uh, you guys don't read the data book? Lame. Not real fans. In the anime only episode. Uh, <laughs> in OVA, in the movie, <laughs> Ender was there. In Vigilantes, actually. <laughs> okay. In the Attack on Titan spinoff Before the Fall. <laughs> In uh, in, in Hirokoshi's uh, first two series, was a reference to a character there. from the Attack on Titan spin-off manga, where they're in school. Um, you guys are so dumb. Um, Actually, Ender is from Barrage. <laughs> no, his, his Yo! <laughs> <laughs> he was in there. Duh! Uh, it's a reference, guys. Oh my god! Well, that was a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, seven out of eight, seven out of ten chapters. And with that, peace.